The 8th of April or Allu Arjun's birthday is no ordinary day for Trivandrum based Prabhu Vihar. Born on the same year as his favorite Telugu superstar, Prabhu is coordinating a statewide charitable exercise that aims to provide meals to old age homes and sweets to orphanages across all of Kerala's 14 districts. This may sound logistically complex, but it's also something Prabhu has been doing ever since he co-founded the All Kerala Stylish Star Allu Arjun Fans and Welfare Association or the AFWA way back in 2006. Prabhu is someone you may call an OG fan of Allu's, that rare Malayali fanboy who started following the star even before his films got dubbed into Malayalam. Vijit, a friend of mine, was working in Hyderabad in the 2000s, begins Prabhu recalling that face. Even before we had heard of Allu Arjun, Vijit kept talking to me about this new star who was also related to megastar Chiranjeevi. So when I visited him in Hyderabad, he took me along to watch his movies. Even though I could not follow the language, there was something that drew me strongly to Allu Arjun. It may have been his dance moves, his style or his fashion, but I could see something other Malayalis would soon discover. This was exactly what distributor Khadar Hassan too saw in Allu Arjun, urging him to bring the star's films to Kerala. He had watched the star's songs and his trailer on a trip to Hyderabad and he bought the rights of Arya and decided to dub it in Malayalam. In his words, he saw in Allu Arjun traces of his uncle Chiranjeevi and the Tamil superstar Vijay. Both of them had created a fan base in Kerala and they were both great dancers. It was a reasonably safe bet to take. And he says, It was a film with that tonality. It had great songs and it had all the elements that made it larger than the realistic, serious films of Malayalam then. Yet despite urban legend of the film's immediate success in Kerala, it was upon its second release that it found an audience. According to this legend, Kadar Hassan went all in for the second release to the point where he pledged his own house to market the film. There was not enough promotions when it released the first time, adds Prabhu. But for the second release, along with presenter Kadar Hassan, we fans to give it a real shot. We started putting up posters of his films in front of schools and colleges and this created some curiosity. I remember travelling to Tengasi to print posters myself even though I hardly had an income then. We had also started to pay local channels across cities to get them to play songs from Arya with the hope that this would catch on. It obviously did and the song A Ante Amalapuram remains an all-time viral sensation in Kerala. Suddenly everyone wanted to know more about the hero of the song and the re-release became a huge success. Nowadays, when you listen to a Telugu dubbed Malayalam song, you know it is a dubbed song, says film critic Ashwati Gopalakrishnan, who has already written in detail about the Allu Arjun phenomenon. Back then, a professional Malayalam crew worked on Arya. The lyrics sounded authentic and they were written by real professionals. We all knew the lyrics and we could sing along and that was a rarity for a Telugu dubbed film in Kerala back then. It also helped that Allu Arjun was unlike other male stars of Malayalam back then and there was also hardly any rom-coms like Arya in that period. Ashwati adds, Allu Arjun was the exact opposite of the stars of the 2000s. He was playful and his roles were that of the charming brat. He wasn't exactly the typical macho guy. Even today, dancing is not a prerequisite to become a Malayali male superstar, but in, but in Telugu, it's imperative for a Telugu star to dance. He was a breath of fresh air and if you see the reasons why Malayalis love Vijay, you understand that Allu Arjun too was a natural fit. He was almost like the Vijay from back in the 2000s. Yet not enough credit is given to the effort that was put in to dub the film into Malayalam. Beyond the genius marketing and the fan clubs that were created around the release of Arya, it was also a film that was translated very seamlessly into Malayalam. Filmmaker Jis Joy is known today as the Malayali voice for Allu Arjun as much as he is known for directing super hit films. He has dubbed over 20 films for Allu Arjun and most Malayalis refuse to watch the Telugu original of his films because somewhere one feels a mismatch when we don't hear this jar. I was then the voice of Kayam Gulam Kuchunni, he remembers, a hit television serial of the time with a thousand episode run. It was based on the legendary Robin Hood character and the film's distributor Kadar Hassan specifically wanted Kuchunni's voice to be used for Allu Arjun. To be honest, I did not know Allu Arjun then and I was not able to see the potential of the film's dubbed version. I took three days to dub it back then and my motivation was not too high. All that changed when I saw the film in Kochi's Maimoon Theatre on the second day. The reactions were the same for any Malayali superstar and it ran for 75 days. The star followed it up with back-to-back super hits with films like Bunny, Hero, Kiladi and Happy. By the fifth film, it became impossible to separate Allu Arjun from Jis Joy's voice. This made Joy the highest paid dubbing artist in Kerala 
and when Pushpa's Malayalam dub took a day longer to release, Jis Joy couldn't switch on his phone given the number of disgruntled people that were calling him. A lot changed with the release of the subsequent hits. These dubbed films were brought by television channels for a fraction of buying original Malayalam films and channels like Kairali and Surya played them repeatedly. The TRPs were always high and the Malayalam version of his songs were a constant across television channels of that period. In terms of marketing, several techniques were used by his fans that made him a darling with all the movie goers. Prabhu says, back then, we would put up cutouts and posters even for other superstars with our club names on it. Even if you are a Vijay fan then, you felt happy to see Allu Arjun fans were promoting your star. All of them would reciprocate this favour and Allu Arjun became a star without haters here in Kerala. It was also a rule as fans that we never fought with fans of other stars. But for Jis Joy, it took Allu Arjun's visit to Kerala to really understand the gravity of this phenomenon. Allu Arjun himself started to market his films in Kerala towards the end of the 2000s and Jis Joy recalls the pandemonium on one such visit of his. His manager had told me that Allu Arjun had wanted to meet me and on that visit, his hotel was just 5 minutes away. I thought the entire meeting would just take a minute to see him and I could return home. But outside the hotel, you could mistake it for a political rally. There were buses from across the state and it lined up the entire highway. It took me several calls to be ushered into the hotel for a quick chat and a photo. In his words, Vijay's superstardom can be traced back to the superstardom enjoyed by Rajinikant, Kamalhasan, MGR and Sivaji Ganeshan before him. But there hasn't been anyone like Allu Arjun in Kerala. By this point, Allu Arjun's stardom had grown to the point where it got out of reach of distributors like Kadar Hasan. Allu Arjun's own Geeta Arts began to distribute the films themselves and they often found partners in successful director-distributors of Kerala including filmmaker B. Unnikrishnan. But how is this stardom perceived by filmmakers on the other side? And what do Telugu filmmakers say about Allu Arjun's stardom in Kerala? One of these filmmakers, Nandini Reddy, feels that Malayalam cinema as we know has this beautiful jugalbandi of this really amazing kind of storytelling that is unique to Malayalam cinema. But at the same time, their appreciation of commercial cinema is with a twist. Allu Arjun first captivated them first with his dance. He's a brilliant dancer. He's never in chill mode. He's always looking at what can be done next and how can I make even a fight look thematically interesting. If you see all his fights, they won't just be typical. There will be one cold-blooded fight and in Trivikram sir's films, there's almost some music to these fights. So he's always working on those 30% nuances that give his films a little flip. Within the commercial movie space, he always tries to make himself fresh and this is what people in Kerala have caught on to vis-a-vis -vis his dubbed films. It is that effort that made him a star not only among Malayali audience but also a pan-Indian star today. Vivek Katriya, another Telugu filmmaker, feels it is his script selection that could be one of the reasons why he is appealing to a larger audience. He is sharp and the way he carries himself is unlike any other. He is one of the great dancers we have in India but that is probably just a token intro for the Malayali audiences. They would have later watched films like Arya and Vedam and could have enjoyed it more than any other hero. A lot has changed even for the fans in these 17 years. The superstar Allu Arjun has grown to become a legit pan-Indian superstar after the release of Pushpa and the second part is said to be among the most awaited releases across the country. He was also given the national award for best acting and this has given his stardom another colour. But for the fan, the rise in their life isn't as obvious as their stars. When I look back, I feel very happy seeing Allu Arjun turn into a pan-Indian star. In Kerala, from nothing, we were able to build a fan base with over 1 lakh registered members that are both male and female. Yet I wonder if those 17 years were always worth it. I once pledged my child's goal to print posters for his new release. To promote one of his films, I used money I received from the sale of my land and this got me into a lot of trouble with my family. The journey has been bittersweet and a lot of love has come in from all the charitable activities. Yet no one understands the life of a fan in what they do for their superstar. You can make a movie about my love for Allu Arjun and all that I lost and gained in this process.